All right, so as you all know, again, I talked about recently some of the units that have dropped in the past few kind of weeks, the last banners have been increasing in how character stats and all that is basically displayed. Then we had cosmetics release again on JP, which also changed everything again. Things have been just going on, all right? Things have been dropping, things have been just happening. But yes, I wanted to go over and update this and show it to you what it now looks like. We've had, I think, like 12, 13 characters since then. I did this a while ago. So today, let's jump into it. Let's break it down. Let's have some fun with this. The highest ranking CC, the units you can use for just out CC enemies, the overall units just that are bloated in CC stats, all of that. Let's jump into it. Let's break it down. Let's have some fun with it. So again, we're going to be using Game with JP over here. We're going to be filtering basically by CC. Okay. So yes, the number one character in the game for CC is Flame of Life Escanor. That is, that is obviously the case. It is. But guess what? Freaking King made it to third because he got a relic. Look at that. Yes, it's not going to stay there for long, 100%. It's gonna, he's going to be dropping down soon, but he made the third place just because he got a relic. His fighting class got shot up up until 35,000. Also, keep in mind, you are level 100, super ranking 6, special level 1, holy item included, stats and fighting class excluded, equipment and normal costumes. Um, that's what it is. So keep that in mind. That is how it's going to work. But yes, Escanor is 36,490, which is, hey, he's Escanor, right? He's Pinnacle. He's number one for a reason. Um, so, hey, he made it to the top. Curse Bond Milio, this is obviously number two. He deserves to be. He has his full cosmetic set and all that release. Um, he, he's not like Trader Melee. Uh, rather, not Trader Melee. Assault Melee. Assault Melee got it how long after? Finally had his additional thing. But yes, this Perg Melee got it right away, got everything, and he is pretty much right behind Escanor. Um, we'll see the relics in like the next two millennia, but when that happens, these two will shoot up again. But for now, they made it pretty high. King did catch a nice little revive here, making it back to the top uh, because of his relic. So again, that's the new thing. Got King's relic. Yeah, you got some pretty decent freaking CC. You also here have Liz, which again, basic stuff. It's a, it's a light or dark unit. You see that they kind of make up the top five pretty simply over here. Damn, Freya's that high up? Oh my god, wow. Damn, I did not expect that. Yeah, she's pretty high up there. Yeah, 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 34,000 and no relic. Her plus a relic? She can shoot up? Yeah, okay. Um, what is it? Deanne also does not have a relic. She should see one relatively soon. Um, all the other Fez units have it that are around the time, so she's next to get one like in some sort of time frame. But I wonder how she's going to shoot up too. She'll probably be third place then. Probably, right? This one, it goes like a thousand up or something like that. But she'll be right above King. So she'll be top three again, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, Freya's up there too. So realize that now. These new units have been just kind of shooting up TC. Um, Traitor Melee, yes, because he has full sets and all that. No Relic, by the way. Old unit, kind of dated a little bit by a year. Still kind of up there. The one Escanor, still Pinnacle also. Kind of up there. Sweet Jelly King is up there too. And her... Well, they got relics, right? I believe they both have relics. I I think I think they both have relics, and that's why I'm guessing they're up there. But yeah, he doesn't have a relic. Keep that in mind. She doesn't have a relic. Keep that in mind. She does, but she's really old as a festival unit. So it looks like that. Yeah, festival units are still remaining up there, but the ones that are old are only remaining up there for the reason they have relics, right? So keep that in mind. Philo also is up there too. Philo and Echidna, and now Fumi. Okay, three collaboration units back to back. Velo being pretty decent also. Akinna and now for me again. Yeah, that's mentioned. Um, Full Moon Shadow. So she recently released also. Definitely not on par with King. Thing is, does Mono have a relic? Am I tripping? Does Mono have a relic? Uh, I'm curious. Does she have a relic? Yeah, so Mono doesn't have a relic. Okay, so she definitely will also shoot up once she, uh, she gets one. She'll go up around like... Maybe just before this or just after this around there. Maybe even after Escanor. Who knows? She'll go pretty high up there. Yeah. Um, Zeldris also, again, with Relic has it. Gothers up there. Tarmio too. So realize association on that. He is great for everything. His CC is good, too. So for, again, not really too much of a dated unit. He has a Relic, though. Another collaboration unit. She's also pretty good. But this is what the list looks like beyond this point. Um, again, if you're looking at it, recently, all of the units, I don't think anybody recently that released, actually fell down too hard. All of the recent releases are up here. That's it. Like, they are doing a new thing that some units just can't survive, right? Freya couldn't survive because she's getting out CC'd by Escanor heavily. See the difference, right? 2,000 CC is the difference. It's a lot, right? So keep that in mind that when she gets relics and stuff like that, that, again, like, if Ragnarok team could go first, 
It, it's deadly. It kind of is, right? It doesn't go first, though, because you have Melly and Escanor, which are running the same team, at just already a base 4,000 kind of plus um, on top of them. It's a lot, right? So keep that in mind. Then you run, like, in the middle, uh, somebody else pretty high in CC. If you run Deanne or Elizabeth, they're also on top here. You know, uh, Freya can't really compete. Then again, you're also running, like, a unit that is more limited, being her. So she's low in CC for that reason that, you know, you don't have dupes on her and stuff like that. So... That's why. So again, units nowadays, for example, also King, he has a Relic though, so I can't really do that, plus he's based off as King. Remember that some units are just having to now have a new stat requirement in order to compete in some sort of capacity. Otherwise, they're not competing at all. Keep that in mind, right? So yeah, we have, oh damn, Cusack's down here. Where's Demon Chandler? Don't tell me he's, is that Demon Chandler? No, that's other Chandler. No. Damn, how low is Demon Chandler? the fudge oh there he is down here he's down here he's on par with this king does he have a relic too no right i don't think he has a relic so maybe the relic will save him a little bit but still his cc is super low he's got less cc than kizuna this bond that bond doesn't have a relic though or has a relic so that's there bond uh rather uh, lilia so yeah he's pretty low it's kind of shocking reinhardt's up there you got this over here you got rem over here Milan over here uh Raftalia over here uh, this one, oh, Dien, or rather, Nanashi. He kind of got a buff because of the relic. Still, his CC is pretty much kind of, kind of away. Uh, not too much, but you can kind of max him out for the reason he can get 6 6 pretty easily from the uh, ticket banner, but he just hasn't popped up elsewhere. Though, he's again now really good because of the relic, but that's what the CC ranking looks like. Again, keep in mind that when you do associations and all of that, um, that people that just have innately high CC can kind of help you out. For example, um, in comparison to the actual association, right? Keep that in mind. Someone just really good for like Merlin and Escanor, that association is 10 out of 10, but you can also just work, uh, like work away with it. Um, being like just super built out unit instead of the association unit kind of works out sometimes. So keep that in mind. That's what it currently looks like. Um, but yeah, the stats actually kind of shocked me. I'm not going to lie here. I'm just curious. HP related stats. No way. It's Escanor. He has more than DN or it's not filtered by you properly. Korea more? Deanne. Yeah, Deanne is more. It makes sense. Is Escanor more than Melly though? Yeah, Escanor is just a bit more than Melly. Where's Perg Melly? Uh, where's Perg Melly? I miss him? Am I blind? What the hell? Melly. Otis. Okay. There's one here. Oh, he's 96,000. So he's down. Yeah. So in comparison to uh, that, he's like 2,000 HP short. Then here is 3,000 HP short. Look at that, yeah. So Escanor, Escanor is just built different. Escanor is just some. Is just that guy. Defense related. Wow. Attack related. Wow. <laughs> he's just built. All right. Um, am I doing this properly? Yeah. Oh no. Wait. No. No. Okay. So attack is that, and defense is also that. Right? It's just not properly sorting. Yeah, now for me, it's built off defense, obviously. The old Escanor has more defense. Where's Light? Light Escanor, where are you? He's down here. He's in like the 5,000 area. Damn, yeah, it's 5,200, and then Escanor's down here. So Escanor's like a kind of glass cannon, I guess you could say. He's still nuke, so it doesn't really matter. He's down here, but everything else he won in. All right, he won almost an HP. But with that being said, that's all I got for you today. I'll catch you the next one. I'm gonna stay safe. That's been for me. Just want to show you the associations, CC, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, recently the characters have been just like going up there. They're definitely up there. But I am shocked that Chandler is that low. Pretty much. He'll get a relic. That'll be fine. We'll wait and see. Yeah. Peace out and enjoy.